a 20-year-old woman who was killed when a BMW plowed into pedestrians in Greater Manchester has been pictured for the first time. Sophie Louise Smith died of her injuries after the crash in Trafford Park, Manchester, on Thursday evening. Friends have been paying tribute to her on social media, calling her a beautiful young woman taken far too young. Mourners have left flowers and lit candles near the scene of the accident spelling out her initials, SLS, the reports. Jade Jones wrote, I can't believe the news, so heartbreaking such a lovely beautiful young woman taken far too young. Another friend, Ella Jane Haslam, said, So sad to hear about this, Rip Sophie never thanked you enough for being my first childhood friend, such a lovely girl, police said the blue BMW 330 DM Sport Auto Estate hit a crowd of people sending victims flying everywhere at 9.49 p.m. in an area known as the Magic Round roundabout. One man said the incident happened while boy racers were taking part in a car meet. The driver failed to stop, police said. A blue BMW which is believed to have been involved in the collision was later found in neighboring Salford. On Saturday police arrested a 24-year-old man in the Swinton area of Salford, on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving and causing serious injury by dangerous driving. He remains in custody for questioning. A 21-year-old man who was arrested on Friday morning has been bailed pending further inquiries and a 26-year-old man arrested on Friday afternoon has been released under investigation. Less than BR greater than parts of Trafford Park, a huge industrial estate with stretches of long straight roads and roundabouts, much of it deserted at night, has become known locally as a place used as a race track for car enthusiasts, at times attracting dozens of spectators. Ryan Curry, 23, of Didsbury, said he saw three people and a dog get launched into the air. He said, the car then drove through them and carried on without stopping. At this point I heard the dog yelping and running round, loads of people ran over to attend to the injured. A huge crowd gathered round, ringing ambulances and police, four ambulances and a hazardous area response team were scrambled to the scene, along with three senior clinicians. There is no evidence to suggest the incident is terrorism-related at this stage, according to officers. Greater Manchester Police's Chief Superintendent Wayne Miller appealed for information today and said around 60 vehicles were at the car meet at the time. He added, first and foremost our thoughts are with the victims and families at this very difficult time. On arrival of emergency services, they were faced with a horrific scene and such was the number of casualties it was declared a major incident. We've been working very closely with Trafford Council to deal with this. Since February 2017, there's been a public space protection order in force for that area, and during that time, we've made a number of arrests, seized a number of vehicles, we've engaged with those that are participating in these car meets. We've also sent a number of warning letters and also reported a number of people for several offences, his colleague Joe Rogerson added, We now have a man in custody and we will be questioning him under caution as part of our investigation. This is an extremely serious incident that we are dealing with and I cannot stress the importance of people contacting us if they know something. Any information, no matter how insignificant people think it may be, could be the piece that we need so please, call us, a North West Ambulance Service spokesman said last night, we were called at 9.49 p.m. to reports of a collision between a car and pedestrians. We currently have five patients, all in a serious condition. We have four ambulances, an advanced paramedic, a senior clinician and three hazardous area response teams heart at the scene. Sergeant Brian Orr, of Greater Manchester Police's Serious Collision Investigation Unit, said, Our investigation into this tragic incident is continuing and earlier today we made a further arrest. 
That man remains in custody and will be questioned later today, however I would continue to urge any member of the public with information that can assist us to please come forward. Information can be passed on to the Serious Collision Investigation Unit by calling 0161-856-4742 quoting incident number 2409 of 18 May 31 or the Independent Charity Crimestoppers anonymously on 0800 555 5 1 1 1